Alright there YouTubers and fellow airsofters, got something else for you new today. Um, I just got in the RE Tech Forge receivers. These are actually uh, new, they just came out with them. Uh, I got a set here that I'm going to be testing out. Um, I'm going to be installing them in our test M4 here that we've <clears throat> excuse me, been using. And uh, we're going to do a couple things with them. Um, it's not just going to be a ticket out the box and ooh, ah, it looks pretty. We're actually going to torture test this thing and see what it can actually go through and how well it holds up. And uh, we got some tests in mind here that we're going to do and I think you guys will like it. Um, if anything, it'll be a laugh. <laughs> uh, but other than that, let's open up the box here and uh, see what they look like. Now these are forged receivers. They have uh, the forged marks and everything on them. Uh, for those who don't know, there are three types of receivers usually. There's cast, um, and then there's billet, and there's forged. Um, out of all three, forged is supposed to be the strongest. Billet is supposed to have the best finish, and cast is just, uh, <laughs> I guess, just basic if you ask me. But uh, what we're going to do here is look at these. Um, they have a very nice finish to them. Uh, you can see there's a stamp mark there. I guess that's already text little thing. Um, now looking at the lower receiver here, what we're going to be looking for is the forged mark, which is right there. That's the forged line. Um, now basically when they make forged receivers, what they do is they take a solid block and then they'll stamp it together while the metal is heated. And that gives you the forged line. They'll take it and then they'll machine it all out as you can see. And this is what you get. Um, but basically what we're going to do now is we're going to install this on our test M4 here. And, you know, you'll be able to tell the difference because, you know, we'll have the forged line and the marking on the upper here. The stock WE doesn't have that, as you can see. These are cast receivers. So this way you'll be able to tell the difference and see what's what. Uh, now with that said, uh, let me get this installed right, on here. And, uh, we'll take, you can see there. I got the gun together here. And... Um, Basically, you can see it does have the stamped upper here and the forged line on the receiver. So they are the RE Tech receivers. A um, couple things just to keep in mind when you get them in. RE Tech supplies you with three new pins. Uh, you're going to have to use these pins because certain holes on these are over drilled uh, for, from the stock parts. So, for instance, the pin here um, is larger. So you'll have to use a pin there for your forward assist, your bolt catch, and your trigger guard. Um, they also supply you with a new roller bearing if you're running the stock bolt. Uh, the new bearing sits a little bit lower and it makes the bolt cycle uh, better. When I had the stock bearing in there, um, it was a little bit stiff. Uh, well, replacing that bearing, it runs a little bit smoother. Couple, One thing I did see that I really didn't care for was it does have some body wobble. I'm guessing the RE Tech Magic Pin can solve that. As you can see there, you can see the bodies actually separating and you can see the wobble. Uh, but with that said, what we're going to do now is we're going to take them over, go torture test them, and uh, basically see what they can handle. Uh, we're going to take them, beat the snot out of them, and see how she works. So far, so good. We're outside here. We're going to give this thing a little bit of test here and see what she can withstand. Um, just keep in mind that everything on the internals here is stock. Basically, we're keeping it stock that way. This way, uh, if you were to buy the kit for a stock M4, you would basically be running it like this, and we'd want to see how it would hold up with the stock internals. So, with that said, let's move on to our first test. Hopefully, it holds up. Bolt came out. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Just pick up another ball. Yeah, that was my thought. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the pitcher. <laughs> yeah, not so hard. Dude. Okay. Oh, not so hard, dude. Oh. At me. Oh. oh my god. Neighbor's backyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Grab a mag. 
That last hit you did uh -huh. was nice. All seems well. Got a little mar there from when we hit it with the hammer. But uh, let's put it back again. Baseball test, good to go. YouTube. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to be doing the hammer and nail test. Uh, we're going to take the body of the gun and try hammering each one of these nails in with it and uh, see how she does. So let's get started. There you go. Buffer tube broke off. Got some marring on there. But the uh, buffer tube broke off inside the body. The body itself is still good. Uh, so basically what we're going to do now is go get another buffer tube and put it in. Because we can't fire it like that. But the uh, WE stock buffer tube broke off. Body's still good. Just a quick overview here of what we just did. We just hammered these nails in the board here with the gun. Uh, as you can see it marred up the top pretty good. Uh, marred up the back, but it's all still good. The body didn't break now. What happened was is that the stock WE buffer tube here Snapped off inside the body. So the body handled it, but the buffer tube didn't as you can see So uh, I'm gonna have to go put another buffer tube on it so we can continue testing and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit There you go Buffer tube threads snapped off inside the uh, body, um, but the body still looks pretty good. Uh, so we're going to put this baby back together and do another test. We got the um, body back together here. The uh, buffer tube did snap off inside the body. The body did not break. We used the buffer tube again. This way we wouldn't have to beat up a new buffer tube. Um, I did accidentally put the castle nut on backwards there, but it is what it is. We'll just run it as it is. And as you can see here, the nails did mar up the uh, body in the upper here a little bit. Uh, it did hammer all the nails in. But what we're going to do now is a function test and uh, see if she still fires. Locks back. Still good to go. going to do now is we're going to take this here truck and uh, we're going to run the body over here and see if she can withstand being ran over by the truck. So here we go. Grab a mag here. Shoot it. Seems to be well. All good. Alright, there, YouTube. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking the uh, rifle and we're going to be driving it behind the truck here. We're going to drag it along this parking lot. As you can see, and uh, we're going to see uh, if she can hold up to it. It should mar the body up a little bit. A couple pieces might break off, but I'll see if I can get up to about 40, 50 miles an hour and see what she does.
rail's messed up. Bobby's definitely marred there. Charging the pistol grip is messed up. Charging handle is definitely screwed. Still works though. Put a mag in it, see if she fires. Give me another mag. She's on. Yeah. Still firing. Had a babies. All right, there, YouTube. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be doing our final test. This is the impact test. Um, what we're going to be doing is taking this here cinder block to the top of my garage roof and we're going to be dropping it off the garage roof onto the body to see if she could withstand it. Um, with that said, this will be probably our final test on the body. I do have a piece of wood under it because I don't want to damage the uh, concrete underneath. But uh, with that said, let's get started. Well, we just dropped the center block on it. Let's uh, see if it's broken up. Well, it won't rack back. Body pin's actually tight. I don't know if the body crimped to it. Yeah. So you can see the body bent right there. And it won't rack back. at all to fix the body wobble. so let me uh yeah but uh let me uh see if i can get some of this dirt out and maybe have it rack all right there youtube i got the bodies apart and uh basically this is what happened here uh as you can see the rails broke here uh the barrel's actually in there pretty good still um from the way the brick landed on the receiver here you can see that it actually bent the upper receiver here and it also bent the bolt inside so uh, basically none of that's usable as of right now I'm gonna try see if I can maybe hammer in it back into place and getting a shot or two through it but that's basically uh, all that happened from the drop test but uh, let me see if I can do something with it get it back together if not we'll uh, see you downstairs for our final thoughts we out. There's a rail. The uh, stock bolt, as you can see, is actually bent and crimped a little bit. The nozzle won't even come out. I'm surprised the nozzle didn't break, actually. Uh, so that's that. All right there, YouTube. So what we got here is we were able to bend the body back without it cracking, which is an accomplishment in itself. So the forge receiver was held up to that. We actually beat the piss out of it to get it back, and it actually back, and it does, as you can see, it will cycle. Um, the problem was is that we bent the buffer tube again, and it's sitting cocked, and that's why it won't rack back and shoot. Um, some battle scars, the delta ring is done, the, uh, the handguard here is all finished, that's all cracked and busted. Um, the bolt here is bent, as you can see, so we're going to have to do something with that. But the body itself actually held up pretty good. Um, the upper here is actually good. This is what took the most damage, which was the weakest part. It is bent back. It does cycle, like I said. Um, the lower receiver has some mar marks here. And on the other side here, it looks pretty decent. That's where we drug it. Um, the upper where we hit it with the hammer. Um, the charging handle is screwed, but it still works. <laughs> um, we tightened up the, the grip on it. But uh, other than that, that was the torture chest for the uh, RA Tech... Uh, forged receivers here so uh give me a thought guys let me know what you think of them i just destroyed a whole gun doing it so uh let me know all right and as always stay true